Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's video. So today we are working on the mini picnic basket and here they are. These are from my new collection, Handmade with Love, and today I'll be showing you how to make these step by step. So these are a lovely little mini picnic basket. I said, oh, I love these. So these open up just like so. Now Victoria from the design team has made this beautiful one here and she stamped all over it and heat embossed it with some white as well. And that is from the, the stamp set here, Handmade with Love stamp set. And it also comes with the dies to cut that out as well. And she's done a wonderful job here. And this is absolutely perfect for popping in cookies, sweets. Just use a cellophane bag to put your cookies in just to wrap them up nicely. Then we have another basket here. And alternatively, you can use this without the lid and the handle to make a little loaf tin as well. So some of you may recognize this from um, previous collections actually. So. This is a miniature version of the loaf tin and the lid so everything has been miniaturized and you get 18 dies in there as well so let's pop that aside so here's the cutting guide die cut one of the loaf tins we have one lid just here and then we have this die here that's going to cut the trellis and the outline die that's going to cut that out completely to make this so run two of those through and then one handle just to get us started and then for decoration I'm just going to do uh, this is a mat here for the center I'm just going to do a bow as well and that's this funny looking die here and this tail okay let's get assembling now I know Victoria has popped her handle on with some brad so you can do that or you can add your handle just with glue it's up to you how you would like to do that so this cuts the tin or the base all out in one go so you've just got the score lines there so fold those down use a bone folder as well to get some really crisp lines And then all we have to do is decide whether you're going to have these on the outside or on the inside. I'm a little bit zoomed in here. Let's let's move this up a bit. There we go, that's better. Right, so I'm gonna have these flaps on the outside. So we're gonna put the glue on the inside. It's all these little decisions you need to make before you add the glue, before you add the glue to the wrong place. I do need to be quick because it's a pretty warm day and my glue will be drying quite fast. There we go, there is our loaf tin you can stop right there you can carry on decorating we have here also i made sure these were included in this die set because in the original large loaf tin i don't think we had the mats for those but i made sure we have in the mats for these so i've used the lovely papers 12 by 12 papers here sweet treats paper pack Again, that's listed down below you'll find the full materials and the tools list down below in the description box so let's get these mats popped on and then we can deal with the lid okay so isn't that a beautiful little loaf tin already but we're going to turn this into a picnic basket and if you want to you can use the same mat to mat on the inside as well pop that aside I think I'm going to use brads for my handle so we're going to do that last this center piece here will tell us where the center is on our basket so you can do your brads last for that one so let's fold all of these score lines now I'm using foundations uh, card 
from Creative Expressions. This die cuts absolutely beautifully. Okay, so these two center lines fold upwards because that is how our basket is going to open. And then before we do any more, I'm going to add our mats now that I have cut out using the dies. Now I'm thinking this is going to look great with some little flowers put on it. So if you have paper flowers or if you have, uh, especially the card making magic flowers that she does, uh, that Christina does, these little flowers look wonderful on this picnic basket as well. So if you wanted to join my uh, paper crafting with Helen Griffin group, I will leave the link down below. And I'd love to see your makes, especially if you just get really creative. I just love seeing everything. Okay, so this here will fit on perfectly. Now these tabs here will, are meant to go on the inside, but whilst we're getting um, everything lined up and stuck in place, we're gonna have these tabs on the outside, apart from these two here, which are going to be glued on the inside. So add your glue just to these two tabs. Now insert those on the inside of the loaf tin, and then use the rest of the tabs, there we go, to help get this central. So I'm over to the left too much there, so move that along. Just like so, I'm happy with that. So we're just doing it on the outside there just to guide these parts first. And then we're gonna lift this up and then you can just get your finger in and just pop that into place. See, I'm holding the other half with my hand just to stop it from migrating. Okay, there is our picnic basket. I'm going to leave that to dry now, and then we'll tuck everything in how it's supposed to be. So let's work on this funny, little, funny looking little shape here. This is going to be our bow. So use your bone folder just to curl that and you may have faster results if you use a hot glue gun for this but I'm going to show you how to do it with a wet glue. So we should have that curve now. So I'm just going to add just a bit of glue to the inside of those little tabs here on the end and then I'm going to fold those in and overlap them so they're going to sit on top of each other just like that and then I'm going to hold that down. So the reason why I curled those or curved those edges is because I didn't really want to get harsh folding lines on the bow. I've got a few lines there, I probably didn't curl it enough. There we go, there is our bow. It's coming together nicely. And then I'm just going to add, I'm actually gonna trim a little bit off. just so I don't have any excess and add some glue around there and then you fold it around just like so and there we have our cute little bow isn't that lovely and then that will go on to this piece here where you can get creative and cut it apart to make a different sort of bow so I will make that decision very soon just not yet and then we have the handle which has this lovely decorative edge here use your bone folder to get that to curve and then use a pokey tool just to make a hole you can use um, a cropper dial if you have one as well but I'm using mini brads so I'm happy just having a small hole for those so let's grab the mini brads Okay, so I've got these tiny, tiny ones in my stash. Just need two of those. There we go. And then we need to pop a hole in either side here on the basket. So I'm just going to lift these up. And then poke my hole in. 
try not to stab yourself guys now there are two layers of cardstock to get your paper piercer through right so let's uh where are my brads here they are oh i've got a dodgy one let's get another one out it's got one really short leg So that's gone through both of the holes and then we can just, it's just basically a split pin. So just flare those out, can be quite fiddly. So if you know someone with smaller hands, you might be able to get that person to do it for you. Okay, there we have our little handle. Right, now these tuck inside now. Just like so. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then we can have the bow on the top. You can have it that way. You can have it this way. I'm going to make this a little bit shorter okay we've got the length there because you've got more choice with a bit of extra length on the tail so I'm just going to glue that together Oops, stick it to my fingers now and pop that on How lovely is that? That is so sweet. How cute is this little basket there? And again, you can decorate it. This is perfect. I can add sweets there. I think I might just use that one. So let's use some foam pads. So if you're wondering where that has come from, I can't remember if I've shown you in this video or not because I'm filming back to back today. So this is the Handmade with Love stamp and die set you get a five stamp set again it's gonna be perfect for lots of different things here there's lots of handmade things so if you sell soaps sweets or just giving away things as gifts this is absolutely perfect just to show that you actually made that and it's extra special and then it also comes with the um, dies that are going to cut this out so it's it's super easy and there's no fussy cutting which is a bonus unless you love fussy cutting that is okay so let's pop this on don't be afraid to trim your foam pads to size pop that on there on the side and there we have a beautiful little treat basket you can fill with treats I will probably pop a whole load of fudge in there. I do have some fudge. Oh, here it is. Pop some fudge in there. That will make it nice and heavy, nice and weighty as well. When you pick this up, you think, oh, there's some good treats in that. Pop some fudge in. Those are just from Tesco. So everything that I have used today will be listed down below in the description box, including the tools and everything that I've used today, including my machining as well. So. Thank you very much for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one and I'll see you again next time.